Hello guys, welcome to Sacrifices Must Be Made. This is a game for the 43rd Ludum Jam Compo. It actually came second, which is amazing. So it's a game of the same title as the theme for the jam, and let's get started. The screenshots gave me very Hand of Fate vibes, as you'll see in a second. Draw your hand, three cards. You go first, draw one more. Okay, cool. Play that squirrel card. I will in a second. I will in a second, man. Quit hassling me. So you find your the plot apparently goes. You find yourself in a dimly lit log cabin in the middle of the woods. You are starving to death. The stranger who resides there tells you that he will feed you if you defeat him in a game of cards. I'm guessing this is him up here, and this is his mouth. His his teeth just conveniently happen to resemble the instructions. Um, anyway, so with that, he says, "Play the squirrel." So let's play it on the first slot, because I guess. The squirrel is a shrewd creature, but weak. Looks like he has zero attack, one health, if I'm reading this correctly. Okay. S. Now grab the noble stoat. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Alright, so I guess that means we've got to kill the squirrel. And by doing that, we can summon the stoat. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Hit the bell to start combat and end turn. Ding! Your stoat has nothing to oppose it, so I guess I swing for one. The left number at the bottom is its attack. One. I was right. So I hit for one, tipping the scales in my favor, I guess. You win if you tip my side all the way down. That's really clever. It's really, really clever. It's nice and simple. Very simple card game. My starving man faces your stoat. I'm guessing he'll do one damage to me, and I'll do one damage to him killing it. This is subtracted from the stoat's health. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. I'm guessing we don't... Okay, so you do... a, cat... a creature won't attack back. What's a wolf hit for? Three and three. So in theory, I should just be able to put the squirrel here. Then I should be able to play a wolf, sacrificing both of... Oh, wait. Can I cancel? Oh, no, because then he can put another creature there and kill my stoat next turn anyway. We are better off assassinating both of them to be able to summon a wolf here. And that should end the turn. We hit the dinghy. Bam! We've almost got him. We've almost got him. Yeah, he plays the starving man now path. He tips the scales one in my way. I think I win if I put the squirrel here. And then I sacrifice the squirrel and the wolf. To summon another wolf in the spare space. That should push me through to the win. Just based on damage alone. That's a win. Boom! We got him. Nice and simple. This guy has created something really clever. Really clever. I mean, you could definitely flesh it out more, but you don't have to. Cat hat is zero and three, so that's a good blocker. But we don't need to block at the moment. We summon a squirrel, and then we simply sacrifice the squirrel to summon a stoat. And that ends our turn, hitting him for one. Nice and simple. Oh, he's, he's aggressive this time. Raven requires two. Flies over creatures to attack directly, but it requires a sacrifice of two. I can only... I don't have a means to get a second creature out. What to do? So I can't summon the cat unless I sacrifice the stoat. If I sacrifice the stoat... Oh, actually... No, there's the answer. I bring out a stoat. Sacrifice that stoat. This guy will kill the starving man. And I don't even have to worry. Alright, what's he doing? Oh! Shit. Okay, well I can summon a raven now. But that won't do much good. The cat can block him for two shots. So if I summon the squirrel and then summon the cat, I think I have a plan. So by doing this, 
The cat can block two shots from the hunter, so I've actually bought myself a turn. Wait, it does not die when sacrificed? That changes everything. What? Sure. But now... And summon a raven, right? No, I still got to kill two. But it said the cat doesn't die when sac sacrificed, so I could do this. Kill the cat. Keeps him there. Unfortunately, it doesn't refresh his hit points, which would have been handy. Now, the raven's only a 2-2. Two -two. This is a problem. There is a big problem here. Okay, we may be in trouble though. Because yeah, but his bird's going to fly over me and hit me for another two. He's hit me for three this turn. Okay, I've got a wolf now. The wolf, is that a 3-3? Three, three? Yeah, it is, but it requires two sacrifice and I've lost the cat. Uh, I have not played this game well. I have not played this game well. Because I can't sacrifice both creatures, he'll hit me for four. Whereas this way he's only going to hit me for three, and I'm hitting him for two. So I think we might just have to end our turn there. Hopefully by him only being able to hit me for the three, I buy myself a little bit more time. Yeah. Fuck. He got me to the bottom. Dang. So now we know that the cat survives sacrifice. So we can actually do this. In theory, and just start slamming, slamming the enemy, right? I had no idea the cat was that good because it doesn't tell us until we go to play it. It's so lame. This is way better though. Because now I can put the raven, sacrificing these two, I can put the raven there. See, that puts us to an advantage right from the start. I think that's what the tutorial intended, but... Just weren't prepared. Alright. Now all we've got is a squirrel. We don't need to worry about the squirrel. We need to worry about the starving man more than anything. We're still hitting for three, so it may not matter. Does that get us to the bottom? Yes! It's hard to tell. The visual representation is very hard. I'll remind you of my promise. If you win the final round, I will feed you. How many rounds are there though, bro? You told me you were the only survivor of the crash. If that is true, then who is that behind you? Well, that's not, that's not nice at all, mate. I don't know if I should jam everything out straight away. I try to be a bit more resourceful than that. You dare lie to me in my forest? Spooks. Spooks. You are losing. But I will allow you to tip the scales. Ooh. You will draw some rabbits when it is played. It's a zero three. See, if I didn't play it in that order, I would have been down a stoat because I would have played the squirrel already and then sacrificed the squirrel for a stoat. So I think this is better because now I can play a rabbit. Doesn't say if the rabbit does anything, but I can sacrifice the rabbit, bring out a stoat that will slowly chip away at that hawk and stop it. He gets a one point advantage over me because he'll fly overhead and hit me for two. But it will die this turn. 
play the if I play the rabbit there and then sacrifice the warren and the rabbit to play it there we'll hit for one and kill both his creatures but still have all our creatures on the board he's only hitting for two. Oh, Grizzly hits for four, but it requires three sacrifice. And right now we've got five points. Nah. We want all the damage we can. Oh, look at that stack. Look at that stack. Okay. This is such a close game. Raven. What to do? I could sacrifice both stoats, summon a raven there, and then wipe out his hawk, hit him for three, which still puts me at a two point advantage over him. Like, he's only hitting me for two, whereas I'm hitting him for three, which gives me one profit. And then my hawk is left standing. My raven is left standing. I'm going to do that. I can't put it in the hunter's spot because then the hunter hits me for bad damage. Ding. Oh shit, they fly over each other. This doesn't bode well. I've made a horrible miscalculation possibly. Oh, I'm still hitting for five, but he's hitting me for five, so it's going to be dead even at this rate. However... We play the Warren there. Oh no, I've got to sacrifice a creature for the Warren. Oh wait, what? Uh oh, I think we've bugged the game. Lisa's gonna get us the win. Nah, let's play this legitimately. So if I played the Warren down, I, I would lose the Wolf or the Raven. And therefore only hit for three this turn. Unless I then played both Rabbits. And then summon the Grizzly. I think we have the answer. So, we sacrifice the Wolf to summon the Warren here. Ignore the two extra rabbits that we gained because that is such a cheat. Play a rabbit. Play a rabbit. Play the grizzly. Sacrificing these three. And putting him here. Hits him for two. He only hits me for three. So hopefully... Oh, shit. We're going to play this slightly differently this time. We play the... Squirrel, sacrifice the squirrel, you play a warren right there, gives me two rabbits, and then I play, I think I'm actually playing this exactly the same thus far, but it'll work, it'll work, a ding, we're blocking any extra creature that tries to pop here unless it's a raven, so yeah, he goes for the only way he can get to me, all right. So his, ra his hawk's going to die. We have the means to summon the wolf. The question is, which slot? They both have high defense, so getting rid of the Warren's probably smarter because he's a 1-3, but he can also, like, because he's a 1-3 instead of a 0-3, he can attack. Gives him the advantage. Oh my god, my hand is blue. And boom. We retain the advantage. Oh yes. Now. 
We don't want to summon the Grizzly yet. We get a Warren in a second, I'm pretty sure. Because this blocks him as well. He's only going to get three damage in. Still, still more than I would have liked, but this works. Okay. Play the Warren. Here. Oh, I've got to sacrifice something for the Warren. Fuck, the rabbit thing happened again. <laughs> Alright, let's sacrifice the Stoat to summon the Warren, which gives us the two that we are actually going to use. And then we just... Wait it out a turn. Okay, that's good. It's very good. Another Grizzly! Oh man, the only way we can master this is by cheating though. Heck it, we're cheating. The game let me do it, it's fine. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my lord, Daniel. Okay. Hit me for two, I dare ya. Oh, how good, with no outside help. Oh, we are the best. We did it. One more round, human. I see your child there behind you. What? It also looks hungry. Ooh. If you beat me now, we will eat. This is a really clever card game because it's built on a really simple system, but there's enough to it that you keep wanting to play. So in theory, I summon the squirrel and then you want me to sacrifice the squirrel to summon a warren. I did that because I have a the theory. I will offer my knife to you again. I don't know what it does. Probably gives us an advantage. Like it probably tips the scales slightly. Okay, and that's why we wait. Actually, do I want to sacrifice the Warren? Or just the second rabbit? Oh no, I've got it. We'll summon a rabbit. Stoat, sacrificing the rabbit. And then we'll s sacrifice both of those to summon a raven right there. Ding. Good so far. Hitting me for two of a hawk. But we're still hitting for more. Can't summon, a, can't summon either of those right now without taking a hit to myself. Alright, he's hitting me for four, I'm only hitting for three. Uh oh. Grizzly, shit. Alright, let's see what the knife does then. Oh, what the fuck? Ding! That's the real sacrifice. Holy shit. Please choose our menu. Starving man or hungry child. What? How very noble. Much like the stoat. And the game cuts out. Holy shit. That ending, man. That ending. That was sacrifices must be made. I can see why that fucking came second. Solid game mechanics. Couple of bugs. But the art style was cool. The story was freaking haunting. Like, oh my gosh. Thank you so much for watching, guys. There will be a link in the description to both the game and the Ludum Dare itself. Please feel free to check them out. Please. I heavily, heavily encourage you to check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next video. Wow. Far out.